Beyond the groceries, the holidays can be an expensive time of year, just period. But Thanksgiving and Christmas require travel, gifts, big meals. That fun can leave a little hole in your wallet. Big time. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us this morning live with what you can do to make the holidays hurt a little bit less come January. Charlie? Yeah, what the uh, tip we got from Money Smart KC is to save your receipts, whether it's gasoline or gifts at Target, groceries, all, of this, all the things you buy this season, save those receipts. And then at the end of the holiday season, add them all up, and then you'll know how much you spent overall this holiday season. And then come January, you can start planning ahead for the holidays 2019 and be you know, prepared and have your money set aside so that you can make the holidays uh, hurt a little less come the next go around. Another thought from Money Smart KC is to set expectations. A representative we spoke with says she's up front with her daughters about how much she's spending on them this Christmas. If they ask for something, I'm like, ah, oh, it sounds like that's over budget, or this might be the only thing you get, that type of thing. So set expectations um, to what you can really afford. And don't, you know, we all can't live like uh, Beyonce or, or, you know, these stars. You know, you got to be realistic on what you can afford. It's hard sometimes to be realistic, but we have to. And Cousineau, who you just heard from there, she works at Central Bank of Kansas City. And that bank actually offers what's called a Christmas Club account, where they take a set amount of money out of your paycheck, out of your direct deposit, every paycheck throughout the entire year, and put it in a, an account that you can't touch until November. So it really kind of forces you to save and plan ahead for the holidays. So that's an idea to consider. Reporting live, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.